Hello, I'm Anthony, and today I'll be unboxing one of these. This is a Razer Kraken uh, headset. Um, it says that it's uh, optimized for extended wear and that it handles uh, lows and highs extremely well because of the oversized drivers within it. Um, so we'll be taking a look at the unit uh, and, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out whether the build quality is there and uh, also what's in the box because that's what all um, unboxing videos want to find out. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to slice open the Do Not Steal Me stickers. Now this is a review unit, so I am going to try to be as careful as possible because I will end up having to return this to the company. Okay, let's go ahead and very gently, I say very gently, there we go. Perforate the tape here, there we go. So now we should be able to pry that open. There we go. Beautiful. And of course, separate the tape here and on that side. Now we should be able to very easily uh, do nothing. More tape. Always more tape. There we go. Okay, now we can go ahead and open that. Very gently slide that off. And we are greeted with an inner box. One of the things that I have previously criticized Razer on is the fact that once you remove the outer box, sometimes uh, the inner packaging doesn't really dazzle. And this doesn't necessarily dazzle, but it's very nice that they included that because unboxing a product is an experience. And I, I think that it tells the story of the product. And if the unboxing of a product does not tell that story, it does make the purchase a little bit less magical. Um, there we go. So let's go ahead and very gently open this. Now there is yet another Do Not Steal Me sticker here, which we will ah, slice, maybe. <laughs> wow, good job, Razor. Right. There we go. And we will go ahead and remove it from the box. Now, um, here on the inside, you're going to notice a few more Do Not Steal Me stickers um, for, I assume, security, uh, possibly also for reinforcement so that the product is as stable as possible. All right, so let's go ahead and Slice that as well. All right, beautiful. So let's go ahead and pry this open. Again, this is a review unit, so I do want to be able to place it back in the box as nicely as possible. And the last sticker, there we go. All right, so when we open the box, we are greeted with the other half of the headset, of course. Go ahead and pick this up. Very nice. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Of course, we get our Razer sticker. Most of the other Razer products that I have unboxed previously come with uh, two of these. This only comes with the one, uh, as well as the uh, standard uh, how to set it up, how to use it, and the manual. Um, the one thing I have to give Razer kudos on is that they do make these uh, extremely inviting and uh, it almost makes you want to read them. Almost. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the unit from its packaging here. Which is not an easy task. It is easier said than done. Ah, here we go. Beautiful. All right. So here we go. This is the unit. Um, it is coated with uh, a foam and uh, some kind of almost leather pleather type. Um, uh, uh, some kind of an outer coating. It's 
more rubber than, than what I would call like a pleather, but um, it's got a nice coating on it. It looks like it would be comfortable. The extending uh, is very, um, very intuitive. Um, it's pretty much just like every other headset and how it extends on the market. One thing that does worry me is the inside of the headset has this braided uh, cloth uh, feel here, which almost makes me think that it's going to be a sweat magnet. And anyone who's kind of dealt with this kind of fabric before knows exactly how that turns out. This ends up being white crust after about eight to ten months worth of use from hair gunk, gel, what have you. Uh, so that, that does worry me. I'll be honest about that. Um, okay. Um, also, when it comes to the coloring of it, um, I'll, I'll be honest, I really wish it were more black and less green. Uh, I'm having flashbacks to Nickelodeon and Gak. No, just looking at this thing. So, I don't know. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the color. But uh, really, functionality is what really counts. Because I'm sure, though this may not be my personal taste, someone out there will absolutely die for this. Okay, so the microphone is retractable. As you can see, we can um, put that away, we can uh, pull it out. So that's a really nice feature. It is, you know, it, it is positional. Um, you could position that just about any way you'd like. Um, and putting it back is very easy. Um, I've seen some of these be a little bit too wiry, so that if we bend it like that, getting it back in its original position is more of a chore than it should be. This, not that big of a deal. Um, this is not a USB headset. Uh, this is actually a, um, a standard um, uh, 1 8 inch jack, or rather 1 4 inch jack, yes, 1 4 one of the interesting features about this is that it's both microphone and uh, headset here up until it hits this cord, at which point it will split so that if you have a setup that requires both, you can use it that way. I like that. Some people don't. It's really more of a taste. Um, but I think as far as uh, compatibility with gaming consoles and other miscellaneous devices, I think that was a smart decision is to have it both ways. The cord itself is, uh, it's kind of flimsy. It's not, it's not braided like I've seen with some other gaming headsets. So tangling and, um, and other issues may present themselves. Um, also stretching, I can see stretching be an issue with this, with people who use it frequently and often and under high stress situations. But um, that's, that's enough about the cord. As far as the, the fit on the head, it doesn't auto adjust like some of the headsets that we've seen. So adjusting it on your head is something you're going to have to do uh, once or twice. I mean, you know, uh, taking it off, it'll stay the way it is. But, you know, next time your friend wants to use it or you pack it away, you will have to readjust it to your head. <coughs> As far as comfort on the ears go, uh, it does pin my ears to the sides of my heads. On um, at some places, um, it may be something that I can I can work around. But if you've got big ears like I do, you might want to shy away from these. As far as the actual functionality of it, we won't really know until we do the the play test. So that'll be part of my uh, final review there on Impulse. But for right now, build quality, well, let me say this. Fashion-wise, I give this a two. I'm sorry, Razer. Uh, this is not something that I um, really, not something that I, I would really see myself buying. Uh, build quality, um, it is, it's, it's quiet in the way that it moves around. Doesn't really make a whole lot of noise. I've seen some that just make an insane amount of noise when you shuffle them around. Um, as far as the, the the padding on the top, that's great. It's not as comfortable as some that I've had. Build quality and an expected um, enjoyment of use. I would say maybe a four, maybe a five. 
um, I'll be honest, these, I, I'm lukewarm on these. Um, now, once I put them into use, once I hear them, uh, I may completely revert on that. Uh, the retractable mic is a great feature, but between between the, the color, the plastic it's made out of, and everything else, this does not strike me as a high quality gaming headset. This is something I would expect from a cheap knockoff. Then again, I could be wrong. If you have, if you have any experience with this headset or a headset like it, let me know in the comment section down below and um, we'll discuss it. Uh, of course, you know, like I said, this is not the full review. This is just initial impressions. Till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments please.